Alright, so today we're going to be departing from Belleville Field, just south of Willow Run, and their class Delta airspace there. We'll go ahead and make a, depart or a back taxi call for Belleville, and make a uh, call over Willow Run, get cleared into their class Delta airspace while we're on the ground here, then make a departure call for Belleville before heading to over to Ann Arbor and make a full stop landing in their class Delta airspace. Oh, any traffic flying around here, we'll go ahead and call Belleville traffic, let them know what we're going to be doing. Belleville traffic, Scott 1538 Yankee, back taxi runway 33, Belleville. Once again, just clear final approach runway 33, and go ahead and back taxi on the grass. Pulling back with the yoke, trying to uh, keep weight off the nose wheel. Taxi across the soft ground. Alright, so we've already done our engine run up. We're lined up here on runway 33, ready to go. We'll go ahead and call Willow Run. Uh, since we're in their service class Delta, and uh, let them know what we're going to be doing. We'll run tower, Scott 1538 Yankee. 1538 Yankee, go ahead. Scott 1538 Yankee on the ground at Belleville, be departing runway 33, westbound Ann Arbor. 3 Yankee, roger, take off and be at your own risk. Winds will run 26012. Take off on risk, class Delta Transit approved, 3 Yankee. So we're good to uh, go through their class delta now, heading westbound Ann Arbor. We'll switch over to uh, Belleville frequency here, 122.9, and make a quick departure call. We'll go ahead and monitor, we'll run while we're doing that. And Belleville traffic, Scott 1538 Yankee, departing runway 33, Belleville traffic. Switch back over to uh, Willow Run, talk to them, and monitor Belleville CPAF. Before takeoff checklist, our windows and doors are latched. Fuel selector valves on both. Vents check. Probe and landing lights are on. And our runway heading checks with our DG for on the proper runway. Soft fuel takeoff here. No brakes. Fly full power. Getting as much weight off the nose wheel as possible. We'll pull as hard as we can. Try to get in ground effect as soon as possible. Control and direction with rudder. And now we're in ground effect, staying nice and low to the ground until we hit our VX of 65, then climbing out at 65. Once we have proper air speed and we are accelerating, have positive rate of climb, we can go ahead and retract our flaps. We'll go ahead and make a gentle turn westbound on course to Ann Arbor. Accelerating to our VY of 80 miles per hour. Great off traffic, Skyhawk 5253 Charlie is four miles from the south. Coming in for a long downwind approach for runway 23. Correction 27. 5253 Charlie. Best call for Ann Arbor Towers, say again. Skyhawk 153 Yankee, 6 miles east, landing. Cessna 38 Yankee, Ann Arbor Tower in our left base, runway 24, altimeter 3002, wind 2608. Left base, runway 24, 38 Yankee. So we got a frequency change over from Willow Run to Ann Arbor Frequency. Contacted Ann Arbor Tower on 120.3. And uh, since we didn't include the uh, ATIS information identifier, we went ahead and read our winds and our altimeter setting to us, which we already had set in there. We're going to be looking for the airport and entering a left base for runway 24. Expect runway 24 to run that way, so we'll see it running that way in our windscreen. Cessna so, so, Mike Papa, make right traffic, right traffic. Right traffic, Mike Papa. Edward Tower, Medivac, Two Papa Hotel. Medivac, Two Papa Hotel, and Edward Tower. Yes, ma'am. Good, good evening, uh, Medivac, Two Papa Hotel, approximately 10 to the northeast, inbound for landing, U of Alma, I've got Sierra. 
Medevac 2 Papa Hotel approved into an request at the airspace ultimate 3002, wind 270 at 8, report landing assured. And Medevac 2 Papa Hotel landing assured, we'll go. So, Sun Lake Papa, runway 24, clear for the option. After the option, make left traffic. Cleared for the option, Mike Papa, left traffic, follow. Cessna 38, Yankee number 2, following Cessna, beam the number is right downwind. Number 2 for the field, looking for... In our tower, 3 Yankee, still negative contact. Cessna 38, Yankee, that's Cessna traffic, on a half mile, right base to final. 3 Yankee, looking. Proper responses on the radio, uh, when... Arrow will give you a traffic call, is going to be your call sign and looking for traffic, or your call sign and traffic in sight. Helicopter 157 uniform, Mike Ann Arbor Tower, departure at your own risk, altimeter 3002, wind 270 at 10 zero on course approved. Good copy. Helicopter 7 uniform, Mike, uh, helicopter traffic about three miles east of the hospital inbound for the U of M altitude indicating 1,800. Uh, good copy. We do have uh, him on CCS. Thank you. Roger. Medevac 2 Papa Hotel, uh, helicopter traffic just departing uh, U of M hospital heading northwest bound. Medevac 2 Papa Hotel, Roger. We're looking for that traffic. Uh, got him in sight. Roger. Cessna 3, Yankee, that Cessna traffic, no factor, runway 24, clear to land, wind 270 at 10, gust 18. Traffic, no factor, clear to land, runway 24, 3, Yankee. Helicopter 7, uniform, mic frequency change, approved, good day. Good day, thank you very much. About a two and a half mile final now, we'll go ahead and begin our before landing checklist, we'll pull our car beat on, we'll reduce our power to 1500 RPM. And we'll hold our altitude, get our VSI to zero, that'll help us bleed off some airspeed. Then we can go ahead and reach down and pull our first 10 degrees of flaps. Once we have 10 degrees of flaps in there, we can go ahead and gently start our descent down, a good 500 feet a minute. And our tower 7 might pop up. And we can go ahead and add another 10 degrees of flaps. And we'll retrim the aircraft for our slower airspeed now. We're controlling our airspeed with pitch. If I want to go faster, I'll push forward. If I want to go slower, I'll just pull back a little bit. And if I want to think a little slower, uh, or slow my descent rate, I'll add power in. If I want to descend quicker, increase my descent rate, I'll pull power out. Tower, hold short, runway 24, traffic landing. Nightway 91, hold short, runway 24. Get a little closer, we can see the Vassy come into view. We should see a red light on top and a white light on the bottom. That means we are right on our glide slope. And tower Cessna 94801, did you get any of our previous two transmissions? Cessna 901, negative. Thank you. Now that we're short final, we have landing shirt, we'll go ahead and pull our last Cessna 10 Mike degrees Papa, of flaps. Cessna Mike Papa, one departure prior to arrival. And retrim. One prior, Mike Papa. Looking at the numbers, our touchdown point, and looking at the end of the Thank runway, you, so I can get an idea okay. of how high I am and whether or not my aircraft's straight. I'll straighten the aircraft with rudder. And then control my drift side to side for the crosswind with Aerolon. Good evening, Anabur Tower, Cherokee 29 or 79 or Romeo. A little bit uh, of a right crosswind, we'll take a little bit of right Aerolon. Cherokee 29 or 79 or Romeo. Fly down to the ground effect at a safe airspeed. 79 Romeo, we'll go. Then just hold the aircraft off. Try to set it down in a full Romeo, stall. Is it going to be a full stop? Affirmative. Go ahead and retract our flaps, car feet off. Aerodynamic braking. Three, Yankee, right turn Alpha 2, same intentions. Right turn Alpha 2 and uh, taxi Northwest T's through Yankee. So three, Yankee, taxi Northwest T's via Bravo Charlie, remain this frequency. Taxi Northwest T's via Bravo Charlie, stay with you, 3 Yankee. So some Mike Papa, runway 24 clear, touch and go. So she wants us to make a right turn here on here, taxiway go, Alpha 2. Then we'll take uh, this exit. The Northwest T, Northwest T hangers, we have Bravo Charlie. Before we taxi, we'll of course review our airport diagram. Now we've stopped, we can do our after takeoff, after landing checklist. Our flaps are retracted, our carb heat's off, our strobe landing lights are off. Leave our taxi light on and our transponder set 1200. 
We have our airport diagram here, and we're going to taxi. We're right here at Alpha 2. Taxi to the Northwest T Hangar. We have Bravo, Carly, and we said we'd stay with her on her frequency, 120.3, rather than contacting ground. We have our clearance, and uh, check left and right. We're clear. We'll go ahead and taxi. There'll be one departure prior to arrival. Uh, clear to land 2479 Rio. Alright, now that we are sitting here, we're uh, at the Northwest T, holding short of Charlie, the non movement area. Right we're going to go ahead and get our ATIS. Visual approach for runway 24 in use. Notice to airmen use caution, birds, deer, coyote in the vicinity. Advise on initial contact, you have Sierra. We have information, Sierra. Can I report information, Sierra 2253 Zulu, wind 2609er, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 26, dew point 14, altimeter 3001, visual approach for runway 24 in use, notice to airmen use caution, bird, steer, coyote in the vicinity, advise on initial contact, you have Sierra. All right, so... Our wind is 2609, about 10 statue miles visibility, uh, no ceiling, uh, at least below 12,000. Uh, altimeter sitting 3001, and runway 24 is what we'll expect to use. We can go over to the clearance delivery frequency of 121.6. And what we're going to do today is actually pass to depart from Ann Arbor and travel south to Wood County Airport on the bottom end of this chart. We can't and we will uh, get VFR flight following from Detroit Approach Control and actually be underneath Detroit's Class Bravo airspace. We'll go ahead and ask for uh, flight following while we're on the ground here so we don't have to do it while we're in the air. In our ground, Skyhawk 1538 Yankee, Northwest Tees with Sierra. Uh, VFR southbound to Wood County Airport requests uh, VFR flight following. Southern 3, Yankee, Ann Arbor, ground runway 24, taxi via Charlie Alpha. What altitude are you going to go at? Taxi runway 24 via Charlie Alpha and uh, 3,500 on the altitude, 38 Yankee. Southern 3, Yankee, what's the destination uh, airport you're going to? Uh, destination is Wood County 1 Golf 0. Alright, and that little double click there just means she heard us. Our taxi clearance is to taxi runway 24 via Charlie, link up with Alpha here, and taxi right there to Alpha 1, we'll do a run up, then we'll depart runway 24. Special 3, Yankee, you can uh, taxi runway 24 via Charlie Alpha, I'll give you a squat code in a minute. 24 via Charlie Alpha, and uh, I'll stand by for the squat code, 3, Yankee. Might have uh, waited too long to start rolling, but always best to uh, get out to the intersection of uh, Charlie and Alpha. We'll look, check, make sure that we're clear right. No one else is taxing. Squawk 5205. Squawk 5205, 3 Yankee. So we have our squawk code of 5205. So we can see this directional sign here that tells us we're now on taxiway Alpha. Alright, so our run-up is now complete. We're going to go ahead and uh, expect to talk to Detroit on 118.9 or 5. We'll have that dialed in there. So it's all set up, ready to go. We'll be asking uh, for clearance to take off from Ann Arbor Tower on 120.3. Go ahead and move this over. We have our uh, checklist ready to go there. Pulled up to the whole short line here. We're holding short of runway 24 at Alpha 1. And uh, we have our aircraft turned so we can see the other aircraft coming in on final. We've done our uh, engine run up. So we're going to go ahead and change. do our before okay. takeoff checklist. Our windows and doors are closed and latched. Thank you. Our fuel selector valve is set to both. Engine instruments still look good. We have good oil pressure, good oil temperature. Probe and landing lights are on. And runway heading. We'll check that once we're out there on the runway. We go ahead and uh, call for a departure now. Ann Arbor Tower, Skyhawk 1538 Yankee, ready for departure, VFR southbound.
Cessna 3, Ian King, Arbor Tower, left turn southbound approved, runway 24, clear for takeoff, wind 2607, gust 16. Clear for takeoff, runway 24, left turn southbound approved, Skyhawk 153, Yankee. Cessna 7, Mike Papa, one departure prior to your ever arrival, runway 24, clear for the option. One departure, uh, this will be full stop, Mike Papa. Cessna Mike Papa, Roger, runway 24, clear to land. Clear to land, Mike Papa. Full field truck, number ground, we'll slowly advance our throttle, truck. everything looks good. Our DG checks, advance full throttle. And wait till we see rotation speed. We have no wind, so we won't have any uh, arrow on wind direction. And VX, and then lower the nose as we clear our obstacles to VY. Using plenty of right rudder to counteract P factor. Of course, once we hit uh, 500 feet AGL, we'll go ahead and make our left turn southbound. Turn southbound, releasing a little bit of right rudder pressure. Still using right rudder, but just a little less now that we're in a left turn. Cessna 3, Yankee, contact Detroit, 118.95, good day. Detroit on 1895, 3, Yankee, have a good one. We got a frequency change over to Detroit, and we'll go ahead and give them a call now. Roll out on our southbound heading. Listen to the frequency for a moment, nobody's talking, so we're not going to cut anyone off. Sierra Wings 313, proceed direct ants, climb 18, 13,000. Detroit approach, Skyhawk 153 at Yankee, leaving 1,700 for 3,500. Or 153 at Yankee, Detroit departure, uh, ident please. So he asked us to ident, we'll press our ident button. We'll pop up on his radar screen so he sees where we're at. Number 3 at Yankee, radar contact, one half mile south, southwest of the Ann Arbor Airport, maintain VFR, Metro Terminal 3002, what's your request at altitude tonight? 3002, uh, maintain VFR, and request altitude tonight will be 3500, 3 at Yankee. 3 at Yankee, roger, uh, you are cleared to enter Bravo airspace, proceed on course, maintain VFR 3500. Maintain VFR 3500, cleared in Detroit class Bravo airspace, 153 at Yankee. Spare wings 313, contact So make sure we always read back a cleared into class Bravo airspace clearance. Uh, it needs to be very specific. That way we don't make any mistakes uh, and actually have a deviation into the class Bravo. At this point, we can go ahead and do our after takeoff checklist. Flip it over here. Our flaps are retracted. Our engine instruments still look good on our climb out here. Landing light, we can shut off and just keep our taxi light on for collision avoidance. And our flight plan, we don't have one though today, so we will not open one. We're already receiving VFR flight following. And just checking our altimeter, climbing through 2,600 here. I'll trim for our airspeed. And approach to the ten. I'm just doing a constant scan, Probably looking outside for traffic, looking That's inside the aircraft at my zero. instruments, looking at my heading, zero. looking at my altitude, like to go up to cross referencing uh, instruments, uh, making sure everything's still working, turns in a hold there and looking back outside the aircraft for other traffic. Put a 10, no problem. Uh, fire President, expect direct sail here momentarily. Put a 10, proceed direct sail and as we approach our 3500, we will slowly push forward, increase airspeed. As airspeed increases, we'll go ahead and reduce power to a cruise setting. Then we'll retrim to relieve control pressure. Even BFR flight following, they'll do their best to let us know uh, where traffic is and where we should look. Uh, of course, they give our uh, our headings, you know, two, three, four o'clock, where the traffic is in relation to our ground track, not the actual way the airplane's pointed. So we have to compensate for wind drift. But uh, they're not required to tell us. And uh, always a good idea that when we can, anytime you're in uh, visual conditions, keep an eye on yourself and keep looking for traffic. Three Yankee, you are clear to enter the uh, Delta airspace. I will around there, watching. 
Roger, 3 at Yankee. We're also clear into uh, Wheel Run's uh, Delta airspace. We'll go ahead and overfly the field before landing. We'll check the wind sock. Even though we have the wind at Wheel Run that's only a few miles away, we can see the airport very clearly from here. The wind may be a little different uh, at the uncontrolled field. So then, uh, we'll overfly at traffic pattern altitude. Two miles west of the VOR, 2100 indicates up on them. Number three, Yankee, you got your destination site? Uh, firm to three, Yankee. Hey, Yankee, Roger. Just remain clear of the Bravo airspace. You're outside of it now, and uh, Raider Service is terminated. And Squawk VFR, if we can change proof, you have a good night. Squawk VFR, if we can change proof, and three, Yankee, uh, is it possible for me to get a class Bravo clearance on the service Bravo to make the approach to runway uh, 33 and just uh, clip the corner there? Yeah, I'll uh, coordinate with the tower. You are clear to enter Bravo airspace. You just clip the corner. That's fine. And three, Yankee, tell you what, uh, just remain that code then. Remain that code so a uh, tower can see you. And, uh, Radar service terminated, change the advisory frequency approved. We'll stay on this code, change the advisory frequency approved, radar service terminated. 3 Yankee, have a good night. We'll go ahead and switch over to our CTAF now. We have the airport in sight. Take a traffic call. Hello, traffic, Sky 3 Yankee, over flying the field, 1700, Belleville. Go ahead and turn off our car beat. Hands throttle, keep at this cruising speed till we can enter the, uh, into the track pattern. I'm flying from the right seat, I'll go ahead and put the windsock right off my right side of the aircraft so I can have a good view of it. And it looks like it's a direct crosswind, very gentle, favoring runway uh, 33 a little bit, so we'll go ahead and enter a uh, left downwind, runway 33. Belleville traffic, Sky 3 Yankee entering left downwind, runway 33, Belleville. We have a tower here at Belleville that we'll be watching out for. We can see it. Right there, just south of the airport, something to keep a really close eye on. We'll go ahead and fly outside the tire. That puts us into Detroit's Class Bravo service uh, airspace. We will. We already have a clearance, so we are uh, clear to uh, enter it. Beam my touchdown point, RPD on, power, where I'm holding altitude. PSI is at zero, I'm slowing down. I can go ahead and drop my first 10 degrees of flaps. Got my tower in sight just off the left side there. I'll go ahead and start my gentle descent down 500 feet a minute. Always use our DG uh, there to uh, fly a nice rectangular pattern, especially when there's no wind correction to be made. Uh, of course, uh, patterns have to be tailored to your field, and here we have this little tower to fly around. Go ahead and reach our aircraft for the slower airspeed. Little nose up there. And our base like here, I'll go ahead and drop my second 10 degrees flaps down to 20. Make my trap call, Belleville Traffic, Sky 3 Yankee, left base, runway 33, Belleville. My final is clear, I've checked. Go ahead and drop my next 10 degrees of flaps. Make my final call for runway 33, Belleville Traffic, Sky 153 Yankee, final runway 33, Belleville. And we'll go ahead and get established all the way out here with our 40 degrees of flaps since it's a very short field. And we'll use a power on approach, increasing power here a little bit as our sync rate increases. Actually pushing forward on the controls right now. If I let go, the airplane wants to rise. The reason is I'm going to need a little bit of extra help pulling back in the flare once we do get slower. My airspeed up out here since uh, we do have some power lines and trees to clear. As we can see, the winds just a few hundred feet above the ground are actually a little different than what they're doing on the ground. We have a little bit of a left crosswind as we're coming in here. As we get lower, let's change into a uh, pretty uh, gentle wind. As we clear our power lines and uh, that tree there, I'll go ahead and reduce power and fly into ground effect. I'm in ground effect at a safe airspeed, rolling the direction of the airplane and just holding the airplane off to the slowest airspeed possible. Wheels are down, retracting flaps so we stick, and applying brakes. Pulling back on the yoke, trying to keep the weight off the nose wheel. Turning off car beat so we don't get any dirt in there from the grass field. Then we can turn off to the side here and do our after landing checklist. After landing checklist, our flaps are attracted, car beat off, strobes landing lights, we go ahead and turn those off. Turn off our tax light at this point too. 
We'll uh, reset our transponder to uh, 1200 so it's all set to go for the next flight.